Hey everybody, it's John Dudley from Knock On TV, and today I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite wild game recipes. This is a venison bone-in rack strap. For anyone that enjoys wild game, this is an amazing cut, and it's really easy to do in the field as well. You're really taking the rear rib all the way to that front rib, and you're keeping that back strap connected to those ribs. This is a really easy thing to do in the field, and it's also really easy to prep. To move forward with this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the meat in between each of these ribs, and we're also gonna remove a little bit of this outer meat on the outside of the rib cage as well. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and season this thing, get it on the Traeger, and I think you're gonna be amazed at just how easy and awesome it is. The first thing you need to do to prep this cut is just feel around here on the outer side of the ribs, and you're gonna see where this outer tissue, and you know, actually this is great for a slow stew or even for jerky if you take care of it properly, but you're gonna follow this line, and you can almost lift that out with your fingers, and you wanna find where the back strap is and where that back strap starts to connect to the ribs. But once you've done that, you're just gonna come in here. Again, this back strap is, that's the, the best part of this cut. So make sure you don't remove this back strap off of the ribs because that's what's gonna give you that tomahawk or that bone in rack strap. So you can see I'm just following these ribs along and the ribs are starting to be exposed right here. But if you keep this outer piece intact, there's so many different things that you can do with that. You can, you can do a slow braise. You can also use this in a stew. The real treasure is getting ready to show itself right here. We're coming right down to this last rib. Just gonna remove that. And now you're starting to see tomahawks all start to present themselves. So now that we've done this, we just have to clean in between each of the ribs. Each of these pieces in between here are great for jerky. Put them in a marinade and treat them just like you would any jerky that you've made before. But use your knife, follow the edge of each of these ribs. And as soon as you cut down to where that back strap is connected to that rib cage, you wanna then come straight over with that cut and then follow that next rib all the way up, just like this. So you have a great piece there for jerky. You can see there's, if you took this single one off, you've got a single tomahawk. Now while you're doing this, it's the perfect time to have your Traeger preheating outside. And if you're someone who preps this yourself in the field, you really have the option of how long to leave each of those ribs as you process this. If you want more of a cowboy style cut, you can definitely cut them a little bit shorter, but honestly, a lot of people love the presentation of having that full length tomahawk. All right, we've got down to our last cut. You can see just how amazing this piece is. Now, depending on how you want this to look once you plate it, you have a few options. If you want a super clean rib or a really clean handle for people to hold on to, then what you may want to do is get some butcher's twine and you can take this butcher's twine and wrap it around these and strip off some of that excess. To be honest with you, these are gonna cook off nice, they're gonna give you a really cool char, and I like the presentation of them without doing that, but if you really want a perfect plating, then take a little bit extra time to clean those off. I'm a big proponent of simplicity when it comes to wild game, and honestly, the ingredients that I have in my kitchen are super basic, and in my opinion, it makes it so repeatable and so bulletproof. So take your bone-in rack strap, rub it down with olive oil all the way around, 
Again, you're going to start out with that prime rib rub. Make sure you get the ends as well. The infamous end cut. Then I'm going to go with the, the black in Saskatchewan on the outside. And the final coating is going to be the coffee rub. And just that easy, we're ready to take this venison bone and rack strap to the Traeger. All right, we've got the Traeger preheated to 375. We went with the hickory pellets. Now on this venison rack strap, for the temp range that you're looking for, a 130 internal temp is going to give you that you know, rare, medium rare but my personal favorite is to bring it up to about 138 for just a perfect medium juicy pink color and the great thing about a rack strap is if anyone wants a little bit rarer cut they can take one more from the center and then you obviously have the end cuts if someone wants one a little bit more done but we're going to go ahead put this on the traeger install the probe and for me personally, this short time that we're waiting for this to get done is when I go ahead and prep all of my veg. That way I can come out, put the veg on, remove this, and go ahead and let that rest. Super easy process, definitely bulletproof. The rack strap is ready, look at that. Unreal. This is such an awesome, awesome cut. Look at the color, the bark. Now the last thing we're gonna do before we slice this is we're gonna go ahead and let this rest, let all those juices redistribute. If you wanna take any of your wild game to the next level, you wanna go ahead and wrap them and stage them in a little Yeti cooler like this. It completely changes the tenderness and it completely evens out the juices and that temperature throughout. You don't have to let it rest too long, but while you're doing your vegetables, 15 to 20 minutes max is the perfect time. All right, we've let this rest, and it's the moment we've all been waiting for. This is such a fan favorite. This has an amazing bark, got great juice left in that foil. I'd recommend saving that. But to slice and serve this, you're just gonna go in between each of those ribs. So you're gonna do your best to just follow that last rib down and man oh man, right there is an absolutely perfect bone-in rack strap. This is a venison tomahawk. You're not gonna find one that looks any better than that. I can tell you right now, if you want a wow, any friend, any family member, when you trigger a bone-in venison rack strap, just like that, there is no better thing that you're gonna taste. Man, that's good. For this recipe and many others, go to traegergrills.com slash recipes or download the app.